Hi everyone, welcome to Beyond Space, even at the Tundra. Today's episode is um, about uh, black holes, uh, especially those, uh, the, the most massive ones uh, called supermassive black holes. And um, in today's, uh, uh, on, uh, on today's show, we have uh, uh, an, uh, a scientist that has recently uh, made a very important, uh, conducted a very important study regarding the, the origin of supermassive black holes. Uh, so, without any, uh, any further ado, please welcome Hi Bo Yu of the University of California, Riverside. Hi, Hi Bo. Hi. Hi. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you for uh, for your in the participation in this event. Okay. So uh, the, the first question to, to to get a more like a general view of this uh, um, uh, this uh, your recent research. Uh, what are uh, supermassive black holes? Why are they so important um, uh, to 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 for astronomers to to study them? Well, um, so in astronomy, supermassive black holes are defined as a black holes with a, a mass of uh, a million times solar mass to a billion times solar mass. So essentially for all like big galaxies like Milky Way that, you know, they, there are black holes associated, you know, in the near the center of the, uh, those galaxies. Uh, but most surprisingly that people found also black holes, astronomers also found supermassive black holes in the early universe. Uh, for example, the most recent record was like, you know, when the universe was like 6% of uh, the current age, uh, there were black holes with a mass, you know, about 1 billion solar masses, and it's just there. So yeah. it's, it's very surprising. So, uh, the so, like the the uh, uh, the most important question is um, how uh, how they formed the the, the origin, right? So uh, your yeah. study was focused on that. Okay. So so what exactly did you find? Ah, okay. So then the kind of the, the question is what is the origin of those supermassive yeah. black holes, right? So to get a such massive black hole in a such a short time scale, essentially there are two conditions. There are two general expectations from uh, from theoretical perspective. One is either the, the, the seed black hole or the baby black hole uh, had to be big, massive enough, or it could be, it could grow so fast, right? So then it, although the, the maybe the, the baby black hole, the, when the black hole was, was first born or, or seed black hole, it could be light, but it grows yeah. extremely fast. But there are general expectations on how fast those black holes can grow and, uh, and uh, what the mass of that seed black hole could be. So the presence of those supermassive black holes in the early universe really challenged us. Um, if you look at the, like a more traditional kind of astrophysical interpretation is that maybe, you know, the gas Older gas can collapse to form a black hole, and but or maybe older stars, you know, could a population uh, three stars can collapse to black hole, but uh, there are challenges in those scenarios. Uh, so what we found is that if the dark matter has some unique feature, then the 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 central dark matter halo could collapse to a, a see the black hole which is massive enough such that it could grow in a normal uh, phase, normal pace uh, to a supermassive black hole in the early years. So this is the, the main finding, right? So uh, um, uh, dark matter halo collapsing and uh, uh, like uh, informing uh, the supermassive uh, black holes, right? Yeah, for uh, to the dark matter halo collapse to form a seed, the seed will grow seed to a supermassive black hole. Yeah. So it's uh, like a black hole in its initial stage, supermassive black hole in its initial stage that, that grows uh, uh, from uh, those the supermassive ones. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that that's the basic idea behind this work. Yeah. Yeah. So what kind of uh, I don't know instruments tools have you used to, for the study? What was uh, involved in, and uh, what kind of instruments? Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, so our work is theoretical. Um, so we're looking to the observational data from uh, astronomer uh, colleagues and we identify uh, benchmarks, you know, what are the, what are the most challenging ones? Uh, we identify uh, those black hole, supermassive black holes, looking to their properties and so on and so forth. Then we do our theory modeling. Uh, we use computer simulations to um, let the halo evolve uh, using computer modeling, right? So then um, we see, we, we check, you know, what's the time scale for this collapse to happen and what are the initial conditions we want to put in. Uh, so we model those using uh, computer simulations. And uh, yeah, so we, we see what happens and, uh, and we, we identify all the conditions uh, to, uh, to make the seed uh, for those uh, supermassive black holes. Okay. Uh, hi, Bo. Um, uh, thank you so much for this brief interview. Thank you for, for the answer you have provided for, for uh, explaining uh, to our audience um, uh, your research and uh, the origin of super supermassive black holes. Thank you so much um, once again for your participation and good luck with your further research. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.